on the northern boundary of the city of Toronto, York Lions Stadium welcomes us to match week three in the Canadian Premier League. Two sides at opposite sides of the table. And while the bully will see him in a bit of a different position here today, playing more wide, starting on the left side of the 4-4-2. Brian Wright at the number nine needs to get his offense going. There you saw Parrish G, a former York United man. He has returned home and he is settling in quite nicely. That spot in the team sheets, it is his. York United having won 26 fouls in the first two rounds. That's what I hear you do anyways. I never used to do that. <laughs> no, of course not. As Ferrari, great run towards the back post. Got to the opposite side of Parrish G. We know the speed he has with that time on the ball and the patience and possession for Vancouver. Not a ton to show for it. And the numbers from their passes in the final third, of which there have been 33, are pretty shocking for the quality they have done under 55%. Nice little spell continues for York United. Ferrari to the top of the box, reach it and catch it sweetly. Ferrari hounded, kept his feet when G was beaten again. Stirring, lifting it to the right wing once again. Ferrari over everyone. Norman not called off, and what a mistake that nearly was. Irving needed a shout and let his center back know that he was there to make the catch right. A moment from a well, ways away, but still will be frustrated he didn't do better. Max Ferrari, ball at his feet, wrong option. Samaro, the tougher pass with Cordoba open to his right. Adekubi finds Boteo, Ricci turning, firing, and not missing the back post by very much. How they were beat on the exact same goal, in fact, by David Schwanier late on Sunday. Kibato and G. Dyer working on a bat nade. Dyer towards the middle. Alejandro Diaz from outside the box. Heavy touch, though, and just welcomes the York United defenders in. Cleared no further than Kibato at the six. G again. G into the box. It's a great ball. Couldn't keep it down, though. Moses Dyer leaping in the air. Great ball by G. And Dyer, he just couldn't get it down, could he? He gets up, elevates himself. Atakubi and Sumaro stirring. Throwing to the wing, Boteo has plenty of time, plenty of space. Another cross into the box, really good ball. Ferrari takes flight. Another great ball into the box. That's what you need, good delivery, things will happen. Good bit of skill, finds the substitute. Zelenovic, Sumaro, Ferrari, Cordova, Juan Cordova, it's blocked and Brian Wright taps in the loose ball to open the scoring. Jimmy, it seems fitting that Ferrari and Cordova involved. They've been two of the brightest for York United today. Brian Wright will not care how easy that goal was. He's just happy to have his first of the year. Yeah. Look, over the last few minutes, Max Ferrari's been getting a lot of joy down that right side, causing havoc. Could be a second. Here's Brian Wright all alone. Rocco Romeo saves the day. That was not out of the danger zone as it was spinning towards the post. Raises its outside. Unable to continue through the 83rd minute. Niall Higgins, who had been his center back partner for the first two matches while Stirring was recovering from injury, will come into the game to try and see this one out. Norman swings his foot through but didn't get the ball. Brian Wright. Brian Wright slips by Norman Selenovic. Atop the six, and York United let him just put this match to bed. The first of the season for Brian Wright from York United. Now he plays setup, and the Liechtenstein International, after going just 11 minutes in his start to a York United stint, well, the substitute gets his goal in the second half, and what a goal it is, Jimmy. Patar. Garcia, 
That's an unfortunate letdown moment, and the fresh legs of Baia trying to carve York United up, playing in right. Brian Ryan poke for the brace. Yes! Three goals, three points. York United get their first win of the campaign, and they rewrite the script from Sunday. He's gasping for air as he's mumped by his teammates, Jimmy. This is one that we might look back on later this year and say, hey, this is the game that got him going. We know we can do it. <laughs> Full-time whistles blown by Renzo Villanueva. York United, the reversal from Sunday. A Brian Wright brace, Dennis Salinovich getting in on the scoreboard as well as a brilliant second half performance. In fact, the final 20 minutes see Martin Nash's side collect their first points of the season.